Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. This is episode number five in the Let's Play series, featuring the third update since launching into early access. We're in the midst of a magnetic storm. It's raging on right now with a lot of lightning crashes. We just finally got electricity, and almost as soon as we get it, they shut us down. All it's holding us up on at the moment, though, is removing the nuclear waste. You can see we're still on our very first uh, removal project, and it's got a ways to go. Uh, looks like there's a small caravan coming up. Let's see what these guys have for us. Undying words. <clears throat> Crowd what must be the most beaten down individuals you've ever seen arise outside the gate. They're a picture-perfect representation of worn-down survivors with tattered clothes, dirty faces, and scarred bodies. The leader of the group steps forward. Greetings. As you can see, our family has been through a lot. Probably can't take us all in, but would fulfill one request? Take Grandpa. Heal. Write down his stories. The way our family legacy won't be wiped out with us. I tempted to take everyone in. We have space. Why not? Sounds like a good group. Woman looks absolutely baffled. Really? You sure we we aren't exactly the most valuable group around? No, thank you so much. The entire family erupts into tearful cheers, which prompts a round of applause from the nearby colonists. Seems that at least today, compassion was worth the risk. Plus four colonists and eight happiness. Oh, happy day. And half of them are homeless. And three colonists are injured. Ouch. Must have been struck by lightning or something. Uh, or that's the ones who just came in. Could be. We need more housing. We have, let's see how we're looking. Resource wise, we are good to go, but we need some space. And I think out here is going to be a good place to put not one, but two new shanties. Looks like we also just pushed kind of beyond what we have here. We'll get to the edge of that nuclear waste. It looks like we're going to need to get that cleared out for a long to continue pushing to the east. Be nice when this storm passes. Let's speed things up. We're at the end of day 34 now. Resources are looking pretty good. One medal away. Oh, nice. And Zachary is now an adult. All of a sudden, we have 10 carriers available. So it is definitely time to get certain things on the go again. Uh, we're going to increase. Okay, we're already at two there. About here. We're probably going to need more food now, I would imagine. Uh, this could be a good time to add an additional field. Specialists are ready. Let's do that first. And this car. Ready to return. Good timing there. Ready to take care of that car. And we'll send her right back on her way. Without the car for now. We need to get that car repaired. Good chances. 67% chance that he's going to get out of this unscathed. There are 10 remaining. He's going to cover 6. Looks like that time it did not go well. Yeah, he lost 30 health. One more should recover all. Done here. Looks like we have another car now available that we should go probably pick up. And now the car itself has action points. Let's bring it home. Get it repaired so that we can start using those vehicles to move around uh, much more quickly in the future. Okay, two constructions finished, that's good. 
upgrade on our housing as well. It'd be nice if this stupid storm would pass. Okay, plank depe depleted. Nice, that's disappearing for us. It's also freeing up potential vacancy. Hopefully for another house. Will it fit in there? Not quite. Ah, there we go. Storm comes into an end. And you're facing this way. <coughs> ah, sorry. Excuse me. I did come into quite the coughing fit if you saw the last episode. Coughing fit actually kind of never really went away. Looks like we have some repairs to do. We do have just enough to make it happen. Let's get this one back going. And we have plenty of workers available, so for a change, let's get to it. Especially as let's take you back out. And you're going to head this way. Again. Continue to work on bringing that car back. Finish this project, grab the last four. Oh, he's hurt again. Down to 40 health, we're gonna have to bring him back now. It's unfortunate. Thirty-four. Huh? Let's get one person on this. Sawmill. We have more than enough wood right now. We won't add any wood there. I was thinking about putting in another field. Still only have small fields available to us, so we'll have to uh, use this. Can't put a field in there. That's right. We need a good place. Oh, oh, sneaky. We can get a field in right there, then let's do it. I do find it rather unfortunate that we need to go so far to get here, but that's okay. How are we doing on that storage? Just 10. 5% of capacity. That fills up kind of quick. Alright, and the second car has returned. Can't do it this turn, huh? Can't do that this turn. Be nice if we could do either of those two things. Anyway, that coughing fit never really went away last night. Kind of stayed throughout. I think we did the wheat last time, so let's go ahead and do the cabbage. Get that uh, going. Give us some variety to our food. Okay, you're repaired, you're running smoothly, down to 15 there, that's going to go a lot more quickly now. Okay, still other stuff in the area, so we're okay for now. Need to find some science. Oh, you're back. 
She is back, but she doesn't have extra points. Down to 11. You notice when that disappears, then we'll uh, work on getting rid of these other ones. And then we'll have to clear this side. There's three of them here. Fourth one right there. I want that one to go away. I want to go. Uh, let's just make it all go away. That one needs to go away. Scouting is the main thing I want to do right now. Yes, we need research. So, she was originally going to go this direction. Let's go ahead and continue that. Down to three. Down to zero, and it's gone! Hooray! Okay, let's move that work area. Let's get uh, all three of those gone. That's a wonderful idea. We're going to start to get some trees planted in here. I'd like to use this for building, however... Uh, as that is our forested area... I mean, wants to just run a road right through it. And then kind of come out the other side, build down here at the edge. Not the cookhouse. There you go. And this one. A little bit further out. We can push this one a little bit further out as well. those both that means we can do some building down in this area looks like we'll also eventually want to move away from this underground metal and plastic pushing you further out someone's at the gate looks like a scientist I like that idea could use a scientist Science! Come on in. You're going to have to recover for a little bit. Ooh, they are tough. Uh, looks like we're facing a minor victory. That 8 damage is enough to kill them. I don't know how many hit points they have, but... They're going to pack a little punch, but let's go ahead and clear them out. Oh, she did it without any damage. Nicely done. And there's another one that she's going to have to deal with. And she will not kill them in one turn. They have, it looks like, eight hit points. Ah, oh, 16 medical, though. 16 medicine. I'll take that. Okay, someone at the gate. The apothecary. Older woman with streaks of white and pink in her hair approaches you with small glass vials clinking against each other in rhythm. The once white lab coat is now worn and torn, but she carries herself with a sense of dignity. I was told I'd find a colony in need of medicine around these parts. It must be you then. I'm called the apothecary. Can I be of service? Absolutely love this offer right here. 200 science. Take it. Thank you very much. Very much indeed. Fantastic deal. All right, advanced farming. What do you have for us? Medium and large fields. Certainly a good thing. Energy storage. Battery rack. Street lights. 
Education. We got so many kids around. That's a must. There you go. Not even looking at the rest right now. Reinforced gate. Frontier outpost. That could be a thing. So we're starting to push. Uh... <clears throat> da da da. Sawmill. Nope. We have plenty left. Let's let's build a school. Let's not even wait. It's time. It's time. School. Children go to school during childhood if there was one available. Those who attend long enough become educated when turning to adults. Education increases the work effectiveness. One school can educate a limited number of children at a time. It's like 10. Ooh, you're big. All right, put the school in there. We're doing the forested area right here anyway. Storage is full. Oh no. Oh no, they're both full. The fix will be obvious though. Just gonna take some damage this time. Uh, a little bit of damage inflicted. Not much taken though. Neither one of us rolled terribly high on that one. Okay, he's still healing. 95 now. We are 100% going for this research. Wow, she can get 300 of it in one turn. Okay, we need more storage space. I think it's time I start spreading these st stockpiles out a little bit. We're gonna put this one. I don't really want to put it right there. Can we fit it down here? Ah, we can. Let's put it at the corner. So sorry, tree. You're gonna go away. Still five adults free. I'd like to build additional ha houses. I don't know where to put them, but it'd be so nice if that fit there. Does not. Doesn't fit there. Does fit here. Nice to get rid of that. Group of survivors arrived at the gate. Everybody's wanting to come now. Survivors are seeking shelter. Four adults, three children. They did not bring much. The fur time's already up, and we're just barely hanging on. Folks say there are, are new species popping up that are far superior to us. You know what? I have to uh, ignore them for now. Oh, that just leaves them there. Uh, reject. So sorry, guys. Uh, it's uh, roughly full at the moment, and they did not bring anybody good with them. All right, this guy is ready to go again. He is a good scavenger and good for a fight. So what did we want to scavenge? This. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Hopefully we can. No. Both of them with a pretty poor roll again. Takes a little bit of damage. She's still good to go. <clears throat> to finish them off next turn.
Yeah, I sent them away. Okay, that one's nearly cleared. Clear that out, but <coughs> that's not urgent right now. Concrete, concrete, concrete. Yeah, I like that. Go get that. Shanty completed. You guys are full anyway, so I think I'm okay with your work area. Not actually doing anything. Yeah, that's okay. Deposits depleted. That's what we were just checking on. It's empty. Specialists are ready. Okay, it would be bad if she can't finish them off this turn. Finally, there we go. There's that medicine. As she's the only one in the area, I'll probably just have her uh, stay on it. All right, full up on that science, which was instant. Okay, she didn't have to come back with it. I like that. We got a little radiation poisoning. Okay, back to the research then. Didn't look very closely at these, what's left for reinforced gate. It's not a bad thing. Frontier outpost. <coughs> Might be just about time for that. Uh, we haven't ventured too far yet. I think I like the advanced farming. Let's go ahead and get that one, medium and large fields. Production, energy, storage. Good way to go for now. All right, so we're moving along quickly enough. So we could probably fit a field in there, small field. Food's doing okay, but the numbers are down a little bit. Medium and large fields are unlocked. They are definitely bigger. Nope, can't quite squeeze it in there. Any of the big areas cleared for that. Water is down to a plus one. So that is definitely something we need. Again, 89%, 93, 95, that's going to produce 14. Ah, there we go, 100%. No idea how this is 100% when this is half of it's all red, but I'll take it. There we go, new well coming in. Time for a celebration. <clears throat> Celebratory venting. <laughs> we don't have... Uh, minus five. 
I need to start uh, bringing in that other type of food, as in get a hunter out there. Can you take this guy down? Oh, you could take this guy down. This turn. Well, we can't do anything the other way, so let's do that. There you go. Got him. Ooh, and look at that science. That was a good move. Okay, we wanted to go north. Oh, Woodbury. We found another town. That's pretty close for our own, actually. And a pharmacy, 39 medicine. <coughs> we have our first trade partner. Open those relations. Sorry about this cough. This is getting a little frustrating and annoying and like every moment I'm on the verge of coughing. We've had the worst flu bug in uh, 30 years in this area. And I had it. The flu part's long gone. But the cough lingers on. Yesterday it felt like it was just about gone, just about clear. It's been a little lo too long recording, too long talking. And it went away. Felt a little bit better this morning, but... I had the first day of basketball tryouts this morning, so I had to do a lot of talking, teaching the drills. Getting through that first set of drills, and so now, first recording of the day, already my voice is hovering, just struggling along a little bit. Oh, we're still producing meals. Why are we so low on that? Oh, that's right, the fish. The fish. There's plenty of fish, but we don't just have regular meat. All right, uh, we're gonna acquire all of this first before we introduce ourselves to the people of Woodbury. And you're gonna collect Take you a few turns to do that as well. A lot of food there as well, like canned fruit. We could take this guy down in one turn, but he's going to inflict some damage. And meanwhile, this comes with risk. Can get it all in one shot. Let's let's not deal with that guy. Right? Oh, he's got the science though. I want the science. Take care of this first, see how we're doing health-wise, and then maybe come back. It's not my top fighter, not my favorite fighter. <coughs> well, should we be done soon. All right, now we've cleared out a bit more space here. I'm actually clean through now, so where's your work area? Wondering if we want to push this a little bit further north so we can clear this area for maybe a field. But I couldn't fit a field in there, could I? Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Oh, the berries. Got those berries in the way. is looking good. I think we can make a definitely a larger field in this area. 
bring in a good amount of food. All right, let's do this. Come on, come on. Nice. There you go. He cleaned it out. No damage taken. So yes, you could definitely go back and deal with those guys. I would love to get that science. I do find it a little bit odd that you've already cleared out the resources, yet they still show you the danger. Right? Why not be blank like the others? turn to get the rest of that. That's a lot of medicine we'll be bringing back when they return home. And that really kind of sets us up. Basic resources are all there. It's the parts, components, fun boxes that are kind of missing. And next, but we'll start being able to produce those ourselves before too long. Once this waste is cleared out, we'll really be able to expand into growing through this area. We can't by growing, I don't mean farm, but expansion. Can't do anything else here, so we might as well make use of it. Though, there's our burial pit. Not a fan of building houses close to the burial pit, but whatever. They'll live, or they'll die. Might want another water tower. It's cheap and easy enough to do. Save additional, store additional water. Ah, there you go, fits right in there. Snug as a bug. All right, that's cleared out. She's not going to necessarily come back yet. She's going to keep doing some research. <coughs> How is she as a scavenger? Just a three? See, uh, but then research. She's the one who should be gathering research. Not terribly strong otherwise. So maybe we use this guy to clear this one out, and instead of picking up all the research, we just send him on his way. And I need to bring her over here to collect that research. How do we do? We took five hit points off him, took very little damage. That's good. That's good. I like that. Okay, fibers down there, but the plastics are high. I don't want to go too high with it. Otherwise, we'll have no storage. Go ahead and turn the sawmill on for a little bit. It is the lowest of the basics. Twenty-two percent. We'll need another storage area before too long. Berries are depleted. Where is the food? There you are. Okay, go ahead and clear that out. This is our next big build area is right in here, so this will be gone soon. That's gone now. Looks like we could maybe get a medium field in here now. Uh, let's do it. We're okay on wood up here. Okay. 
And he's down. Nicely done. You're going to leave that research, though. Which does come with danger. And he's going to continue on over here. Yeah, it's taken her forever to do that. It's already clear. Should we get this food? No. Let's get on with exploring. We'll do these three. Uh, insects. Cockroaches. Lots of them. Lots and lots of them. You can feed on insects. Surprisingly. <laughs> Alrighty then. I think we are big enough now that we need a second medical tent. Another magnetic storm is coming. Put this in over here. That's going to be cleared out pretty soon, so we'll be able to continue growing this way. You are ready for planting. What do we want to plant? Infected. Take care of that. We now have room for more people. Food's good. Water's good. Ten children. We're going to be putting a couple people to work again, so. When we start our second medical tent, I think that means we need some additional housing. Oh, hello. Fence. <laughs> Never saw that. There's our our fence from the gate. We're kind of beyond it. <coughs> More science and a car. Need to get her down here. Concrete ripe for the picking. Because, you know, concrete, it gets ripe. It grows like a food. No, no, it doesn't. So we're, we're kind of in a stable period. This magnetic storm, of course, is going to upset the balance a little bit. Uh, we're going to need additional components and parts to do much in terms of growing. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for those things. That's depleted. That's cleared up. Let's get you to move your work area. And I think maybe we need to clear this area so we can grow into there as well. And then we'll want to clear that one and this one so we can grow that direction and then clear these guys and grow into here but of course that's our wooded forest for harvesting wood planks okay second medical tent is done uh, let's go ahead and fill that out and now we have space Additional shanties. I think I am overdue for a road that's gonna go, pathway that's gonna go this way. Looks like we have some planks down here. We're gonna have to get those collected. Alright, I'll probably have her. What is your 
scavenging just a three. She's really a fighter. That's what she should be doing. Explore and fight. Explore and fight, not gather. Unless it's a quick, easy gather. That's 46. That's going to take a while. That's 17. That might take a while. The bugs could definitely take a while. So I probably need to leave the rest of this. Go introduce yourself to Woodbury so we can get this part. Can I not go to Woodbury? Oh, trade menu. Okay. All we had to do was explore to already unlock that, apparently. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Use four. Observe. That way we can at least move the direction we need to go and get an observation in. That's better than nothing. And meanwhile, you're going to keep on scouting, or do we want to take that car? No, go ahead and keep scouting for now. We revealed this mountain pass. Looks like we're moving into a desert biome there. I do like how the biomes are kind of tied together. Let's see where, oh where. And we're gonna move your work area. Clear these planks out. Nothing else other than some berries. Those are getting cleaned out. We need to relieve this for a building area. With a little more research, we'll be able to start extracting from the ground. And then most of the rest of this will be about just clearing land for building. Twenty-eight percent. Long time before we need to do anything additional there. Group of survivors. Okay, okay. Three adults, no children. I like that. They did not come with uh, specialists, though. But we'll take them. of them are infected. That'll get healed up quickly enough. As all three are adults, that kind of clears this up a little bit. Straight to work. Alright, what do you got here? Four to nine damage. Yeah, they're weak on defense. Okay, take these guys out. I don't care if they have anything or not. I just want you to bring them down. Didn't kill them though. Next time will be a certain. Still 80 on health, so he's doing just fine in that department. Okay. Open this area up. Oi. Okay, fine. Don't reveal it this turn. Deceive me, why don't you? One, two, three, four. And reveal. Same thing. We're kind of wrapping our way around. Oof. Wolfgang's lair. That's not an easy one to pick off. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Well, more colonists. Expanded base. Really starting to clear some areas out. Things are good. Things are very good. But of course, there's a magnetic storm coming, so that's not going to be so good. Uh, we definitely want to do more to affect the happiness of our people, the mood. It's 
not great. Average happiness. Yeah, some of them resting poorly. Oh, a child was born. I got another colonist. Some are rested. Infected, tired. It's not all good. It's not all good. Uh, nuclear waste depleted. We cleared out one of these already. That should free up a little more farmland. I think that's what most of that will become. But that storm's about to hit, so let's go ahead and call that an episode. That's going to do it for this one. I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.